What is going on everybody? Yvonne here and today we're going to cover one of the most popular CRM solutions on the market, HubSpot. HubSpot has a ton of plans that it has to offer across many different hubs that range from marketing, sales, or even operations. We're going to be going through what they do, what they're useful for, how much they are, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now because this is a step-by-step -step tutorial, if you guys do want to follow along with everything that I'm doing, there is going to be an exclusive link down below in the description for you guys to follow along. Once you guys are ready, press get started for free and it's going to bring you to this page right over here. Now because I already have an account my screen is going to look a little differently than yours but i'm gonna go ahead and create a new account with a new user so go ahead and enter the email that you guys want to use let's go ahead and verify it awesome now once you guys have verified your email let's go ahead and select the password that we want to use boom i'm gonna go ahead and enter my first and last name and it's going to ask you guys a couple questions here and hubspot does a really good job with kind of figuring out where you guys are at so we can customize the platform towards you guys' experience so i'm gonna go ahead and press yes i do know we're going to be in the marketing and advertising we're going to be the owner and the company name is going to be test press next is going to be just me and the company website is going to be my first website.com let's go ahead and create an account and we're going to be ready to rock so i'm not sure if you guys have ever used hubspot before so let's do a quick little overview pretty much the way that hubspot works is at the center of it there's going to be the mitochondria of the cell which is going to be the crm inside of the crm right over here you can store you guys' contact records company records deals you're working on any type of a communication and so on that way everything can be in one centralized place and nothing slips through the cracks however in addition to the smart crm that HubSpot provides, there's going to be different hubs that can be connected to it. Those hubs range from marketing hub to sales hub, service hub, content hub, operations, commerce, right? You name it. And they all do their own unique features, right? So with marketing hub, it's going to be responsible for marketing features, both sales hub for sales efforts. So they're all going to be doing different things. And the goal of the platform is to really track the entire user's journey. And what I mean by that is through a person that doesn't know what your business is, we're able to track their journey all the way from them being an anonymous person, right? Who doesn't know which who you guys are all the way through them becoming a prospect, client, and later promoter of you guys' brand. And that's why if you guys are just getting started, I highly suggest to start a custom platform. With the platform itself, it's only going to be 15 bucks a month if you pay annually and 20 bucks if you pay monthly. However, it is going to include all the hubs at the starter level, ranging from marketing to commerce. And if you guys want to see exactly what the specific hub does, what I'd do is just scroll down here, like for example, marketing hub, and we see exactly what the starter package entails and how it compares to professional or even enterprise. Now, if you guys are a small and mighty team, HubSpot can be an absolute godsend. Centralizing all of your efforts in one place ensures that nothing slips to the cracks and at the same time that everybody has full visibility on what we're working on. And with marketing, sales, service, content operations, the platform has a ton to offer. Now, if I was just getting started, right, I have a business and I have a spreadsheet of all the leads I'm working with or however you guys keep track of it, I would go ahead and import those into HubSpot. That way, all the communications of them can be stored in one place. Now, HubSpot has three different levels of records you got to keep an eye I out for. There's going to be the company record where you're storing all the companies, contact record where you're storing all the contacts, and deal record that where you're storing all of your deals or business you're working on. And the cool part about it is that you can intertwine all of them with one another. So on the company record right over here, we have the name of the company, a certain domain associated with it, and the phone number. But we also have the information regarding that company, like its name, the industry it's in, who the company owner is. So in this case, it's going to be me because I'm a one man team, as well as the type, city, state, postal code. But again, all these fields right over here can be custom inside of you guys' CRM. This is going to come in really handy, especially if you're doing any type of marketing email, because we're going to take all that personalized information and throw it in there. And that ensures that email is not going to be too cold. And any type of activity that we have with this company, so all the emails we send, the calls we made, the tasks we have, the meetings we've had, we can see it right over here in the activity tab. I personally never reached out to this company directly, but if I did, all the information would be stored right over here. In addition to that, you guys can actually also call within the platform as well. And that's going to be really handy because you guys can take notes on your guys' calls and depending on which state you guys are in, you can actually also record it as well. And on the right-hand side, right over here, as you guys see, Steven Gonzalez is going to be the National Sales and Marketing Director of NetTech Corporation. This comes in really handy whenever you guys are working with different types of stakeholders at the company because most of the time, especially if it's anything B2B, you guys are going to be working with multiple individuals and that way we can see exactly who's going to be on the team. In addition to that, you can actually also see deals, tickets, payment links, other companies, or even subscriptions associated with this company. Again, all these things that you guys are seeing in front of me can be customized and that kind of depends what you guys are looking for. I personally use HubSpot for my full-time job and something that's really useful for us is having tools like LinkedIn Sales Navigator associated with it. And there are so many other integrations that exist and what I would do to kind of find those to see if they exist out there, I would just go to the app marketplace here at HubSpot. That way you can just type in the app you guys are looking for and connect it natively to your guys' account. So again, every single thing that you guys are seeing can be customized. It's fairly straightforward. As you guys see right over here, this customized 
customized record. You click on it and you can modify it however you guys like. And same thing is going to apply to the contact record. As you guys see, it kind of looks similar, right? The whole goal of HubSpot is for it to be super easy to use. So all this information right here on the left about the prospect, as well as the activity, right? So the notes, emails, calls with that specific prospect, not the company itself. So in this case, it's going to be Steven Gonzalez, as well as the company that the prospect is associated with and the deals, tickets, you guys get the point. And if, for example, if I'm working with those organization and I got a call in the books, I probably want to create a deal because we may do some business together. So what I do is go to the deal record right over here, press add, boom, our deal name is going to be big money, right? We can have different deal stages, amount, the amount is going to be, let's make it big money, boom. And our deal has been created. Now, as you guys see, very similar deal record as well with activities, information about that deal and the things right over here on the right hand side. Again, you guys can customize deal record, company record, contact record all separately. So don't worry about getting them mixed up here. And as you guys see right over here, we only have one deal in front of us and there's going to be multiple stages that are kind of associated with the sales process. So in this case, we only have the appointment scheduled, but if that person is going to be qualified to buy, presentation is scheduled or decision makers bought in, we can go ahead and move it over depending where it is. And there's so many different ways to filter this as well, ranging from a create date when the deal was made to last activity day, close date, or even advanced filters that we can see right over here. They're associated with your guys' CRM properties. So those are the basic things. You might be asking yourself, hey Vaughn, but how do I actually get more leads coming to my site and my business. Now with the starter tools, features like social and campaigns are only going to be unlocked when we come to the professional feature. However, the email marketing tool is going to be really useful. You guys can go ahead and easily modify the email you guys are going to be sending with drag and drop components and it's going to be really simple to use. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because if you use one of these, you can kind of use them all. But there's going to be a lot of things that we can add ranging from an image to a divider to a video, right? Or even modify design, however we want. The important part is going to be in this analyze column right over here because we can track all of our engagement and see exactly what is working versus what is not. And I don't have any data here, but it measures so many different things like open rates, click rates, click through rates, deliverability, or email performance reports. If you guys go to the dashboard right over here, all the reports that we talked about, you can kind of keep them within one place. So pretty much what a dashboard is, is going to be collection reports and they're all going to be showing different things. So in this case, this is going to be our email dashboard and it's going to show email conversations total by rep, email closed totals by rep, different things that we're kind of measuring here. And if you guys want to build a report, it's going to be really easy. All you got to do is create a report here. And there's going to be a lot of templates and other things to choose from. So pretty much the way I think about it is all of you guys' data that you have within your CRM, we can go ahead and use it towards you guys' reporting efforts because that way we have full visibility on what is going on. So let's go over what I'd personally do if I was just getting started with HubSpot. First, for any existing customers that we already have, right? If we have a spreadsheet or we wrote it down on a napkin somewhere, we got to go ahead and get them inside of HubSpot. It's going to be really simple to do. So remember those record types that we talked about? All we got to do is just go to one of those that we want to import, press the import button, and we can easily import a CSV or whatever you guys want. Step two is I would personally make a list of people, right? So all the people that we brought inside of our CRM, because different people are going to have different traits, right? Associated with them or different properties inside of the CRM. We're going to figure out how to segment those people with our marketing and sales efforts. And that's where lists come in as they can make your life a lot easier. So what I do is based on the custom properties that we said, go ahead ahead and figure out what you guys are looking for. And that way we can segment our leads that way. From there, I would throw them into an email marketing campaign and that way you can nurture your prospects. And you guys got to remember that hosting you guys' website or modifying you guys' blog pages can also be done with a HubSpot. It kind of works similar to the email builder. So if we just go to the landing pages right over here, if we press create, it works the exact same way as you guys can customize it through drag and drop. And once you guys are getting some interaction with your guys' marketing email, I would go ahead and track exactly who's opening them up. And from there on, we can put them on our sales pipeline. And because everything lives in one place, you guys have full visibility into what's going on. And from there, I'd go ahead and create a deal. And we can also even send out quotes and collect payments all within the HubSpot platform. The company's mission is to ensure that you guys' tech stack is crafted instead of cobbled. And what I mean by that is instead of you guys having 20 different tools to do 20 different things, we only need one HubSpot to do everything. That way, all of your data lives in one place. Team can see exactly what's going on and hand off from marketing to sales or sales to service is going to be much smoother. And there you guys have it. That was a step-by-step -step tutorial of the startup platform within HubSpot. There's so much that the platform has to offer and it can do an amazing job of streamlining your guys' efforts. If you guys do want to try out the platform, there is going to be an exclusive link down in the description. So please go through that as it tremendously helps support the channel. And remember that on this channel, we make videos about different platforms and tools to help you guys start and scale your guys' business. And if you got any value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.